Hey everyone, it's Professor Clark. In the last lecture, we learned the endings for the dative case, and in this lecture, we are going to learn some of the uses for the dative case. The overall meaning of the dative is to or for. When we do something to or for someone, we use the dative. It is also used uh, for expressions to indicate age. For example, minye dvatset liat, which is literally to me are 20 years. Sasha dvatset adin god, to Sasha are 21 years. So in Russian, we say to me is a certain number of years. Instead of saying I am a certain number of years, we use the dative. To me is a certain number of years. We also use it to indicate the indirect object. So the indirect object is normally the person uh, that you are doing the action for or to. So for example, ja kupila bratu padarek. I bought my brother a present. Padarek is the direct object. It's the direct recipient of the action of the verb, and it is in the accusative case. Bratu is the indirect object, it is the indirect recipient of the action of the verb, and it is in the dative case. We also use the dative case with the preposition po, and you have learned a number of set phrases with this preposition po. Uh, po doesn't really translate well into English, it has lots of different meanings, but you know these set phrases, for example, pa profesi, by profession. So, maya mats pa profesi vrach. My mother is a doctor by profession, is what we're saying. Or pa nacionalnosti, by nationality. Moja tjets pa nacionalnosti ruski. My father is a Russian by ethnicity. My father is ethnically Russian or is a Russian by nationality. Or um, the phrase pa komnitje, uh, when we're talking about roommates, so this is my roommate, but it literally means something like my neighbor by room. And so we use that as a set phrase to mean roommate, sasied or sasiedka pa in which komnita, room, is in the dative case because it is the object of the preposition po. The second uh, broad class of meaning or general class of usage that we have for the dative is with the number of adverbs. For example, with the adverbs nada or nužna, which with verbs can be used interchangeably and they mean necessary, this dative plus nada or nužna plus a verb in the infinitive means I have to do something, I need to do something. For example, mnie nužna or mnie nada zanimatsa. I need to study, I need to do my homework. Grisha nada robotits. Grisha needs to work. Nam vsiam nužna harasho učitsa. We all need to do well in school. So the person who needs to do something is in the dative, and then we have nada or nužna, and then we have the verb in the infinitive. And that's how we say to need to do something in Russian. We can also use the dative with the adverbs možna, meaning permitted or possible, nevozmožna, impossible, and nilsia, forbidden, in order to express possibility or impossibility. For example, mnie nilsia jest arechi, u mnie alergia. I can't eat nuts, or it is forbidden for me to eat nuts. I have an allergy. And again, the person for whom something is impossible, possible, or forbidden is in the dative. And then if we have a, a verb, it's in the infinitive. We can also use uh, the dative with a wide variety of adverbs to indicate a wide variety of feeling states. For example, I'm cold. And note that we use the dative, minye, to me, and then the adverb, kholodna. So we say, minye kholodna, I'm cold. But in Russian, you say, to me, it is cold. If you say something like, ya kholodny, that means I am a cold person, like a cold-hearted or cold-tempered person. But minye kholodna means I feel cold. 
conversely, we can say мне жарко, I'm hot, or I feel hot. Мне трудно, uh, I'm having a hard time, this is difficult for me. Or мне скучно, I'm bored, or this is boring to me. And again, with all of these, if you used я plus the adjective in the nominative, you'd be saying you're that kind of a person. So я скучная means like I'm a boring person. Мне скучно means I feel bored. Я трудный could be like I'm a very difficult person. But мне трудно means I'm having a hard time. I'm having a difficult time. So that is a quick overview of some of the main uses of the dative. Uh, some of them are not what we do in English, but they are very straightforward. Uh, so once you get used to them, you should not have a lot of trouble using the dative correctly with these meanings.